And then you come in the way you want to come, get your pencil, get two pencils, and then uh, what? Two pieces of crayon. Solution guy, let me kick it over to you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Dr. Today, we have a special guest uh, that's coming on board to talk to us, Mr. Trey Ron Butler. So this is the extreme moment. So this moment, this is a stream moment where Extreme Effects is a, uh, it's an academy. It teaches you how to trade, how to use your smartphone for very good making money. And this young man has a story that I found very interesting that I want to get him on the call today. All right then. Uh oh, what is his name? Is Brandon? No. Okay, okay. Is, is, is he there? Is he there today? Yeah, I'm here. I'm definitely here. Okay, okay. Now, are you all, we got him on Zoom and we also got him on the phone. So, Mr. Taylor, I'm going to set you up, sir. Hey. And, 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 and uh, I know I know your story. And and like I say, I'm very interested in this work. So, what I want to do is open it up, open it up and ask you one or two one questions. Two questions like, like, where are you, you from, from and, and you know, you know the that you were part of, tell people about it and what, what got, got you so excited, excited about, about it, it to where, where they, you, you are, you joined and you were telling a lot about it. What has it, has it helped, helped, helped you? you? So I'm from Dayton, Ohio, and I'm 20 years old. And the best thing that I like about Extreme FS Global is, first of all, the community. We have a real supportive community, and we have people of all nationalities, you know, different lifestyles and different styles of just living, period. And, you know, with me, I don't I want to give you like a, a, a story of my whole life, of what I went through and where I'm at now. And when I was younger, uh, you know, I didn't know no better about financial literacy or, you know, just how to be financially free, you know. And I was making a lot of decisions that, you know, hurted me in the long run. And things that I've done in my past, I wish I could take it back and make it right now that I know. But, you know, it's life and things happen for a reason because you never know how God works within you. And I have made a couple of decisions that have put me into incarceration for two years. And, you know, while I was incarcerated, I was just reading books and stuff like that because I made a decision like, man, I don't want to live like this no more. Like, I don't want to have to struggle or worry about how my kids are going to find the next meal or anything like that. So I decided to learn about financial literacy. I learned about a lot of real estate and things like that. And when I had got out of jail last month, um, I had connected with Megan Whitman. She's one of my business partners. And she introduced me to Extreme FS Global. And from there, you know, I started this business. And in the first seven days, I was able to transition from being an ex con to a life con. Mm. And I started to actually, you know, change my circumstances financially. I started learning about Forex. I started to learn about network marketing and many other things. And I had learned right then and there, like, man, it doesn't take much to make a decision to change, you know. And a lot of people, they're afraid of change because they don't want to be uncomfortable. And you have to put yourself in a comfortable situation so that you can learn how to be comfortable. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. right. And, and again, that's one of the things that I saw with the Academy God that intrigued me to want to get involved. You know, I was being the type that want to help you. Um, you know, me myself growing up, you know, in a single house single household. It was just a blessing that I didn't get caught, you know, anything. But I was in the environment just like this young. And I tell you what I love about his story is that uh, he's been honest enough to tell you that he learned how 
to lean and depend on God. And as a result of that, learning to depend on God, he's able to not only to help himself, but he's willing to share what he has learned with others. And it's a young man, too, 20 years old right now, doing good for the neighborhood. I tell you what, we're proud of you. And look at him. We're going to call you family from this point on. From that point on, this point on, that point on, you're now family. If you want to run, go ahead and run right now. Because if you stay here much longer, we're definitely going to bring you to family. <laughs> so, Lucy, guy, I think we need to go and bring him into the family. Yes, sir. Uh, he's in there. He's, he's in, in the family. family. Oh, no doubt about it. Glad to have him. We're pretty much on the same team together. So, oh, yeah. He, he's family. All right. I love the back. Listen here. Uh, don't you go too far on. Uh, away from us, uh, uh, do what you need to do, any kind of thing that we can do to help you. This is your platform that we are on right now, and we are available and willing to help you get the word out. So listen here. You the solution guy, y'all get together, y'all tell the gospel doctor what he need to do. So Pastor Elton and I, we just here to be able to help you push not only what God has given you, but also to make sure that the world gets a chance to know that it's all about God. Amen. Yeah, Amen. It's all about God. Salute God. Back. Yes, sir. And, sir, I think, and I think, you know, God's uh, grace that this young man in his time, and now he's on a better, on a better path. And I love that. So, Tavon, that. So, Tavon tell, tell me, how, how many people have, have you so helped in so this far in this opportunity that you're a part of? I've helped pretty much everyone around me, man. Like a lot of my friends and a lot of my family members, at least I want to say 30 people that I've helped change their life around. Because, you know, when I started talking to people now and they see the new side of me and the new mindset that I have, they're like, oh man, like there's no way I can distract him. Like there's no way possible that he's going to, you know, mess up again, you know, so. And like, you know what? I want to know what he is doing. I want to know how he knows what he knows. So, you know, a lot of people contact me and they ask me questions and stuff like that. And I feel like as my job, you know, through God's image of me, is to help people. And I always wanted to help people because I'm a caring person. And so I started to give out the information to people and all my friends, all of my family, and most of them joined, you know, and I and I still help them. I still talk to them to this day and make sure that they're successful. And you know, I don't know if be a good leader, you know, you know. I'm proud of you, man. I want to thank you for taking out your time today. And I see you got your family with you. Tell everyone who's saying hi. I just want to thank you for jumping on board, um, for sharing this with everybody. You're welcome, man. All right. Thank you for having me on this. All right, all right, all right. Listen here, Pastor Anson, listen here. We still trying to do good for the neighborhood. You've been listening to Live House Calls with the Gospel Dr. Evangelist Joseph Hughes, the voice Katira Hughes, Lil Lena Hughes, Evangelist Bob Green, and the Solution Guy. Please join them each Sunday from 1230 to 1 o'clock here on Gospel 1300 and 103.5 FM WOAD. He's in my kind and bless the Savior.